ignore the... You are a one-woman army. This is so impressive. Something like that. Cool. Okay, so uh, tell us today what you were doing at Vulture Fest. Uh, I got to be... Uh, I, I am a guest star in an episode of Documentary Now's Newest Season. Mm -hmm. uh, it was written by John Mulaney, and he actually uh, stars in the episode as well. And it's a takeoff on the cast recording of Company, the documentary that came out, I think, 76, I'll say something like that. Um, and our show is called Co-op. Uh -huh. And it's a musical about a co-op board in a building in New York. And as the cast comes in to record the album, they find out that the show's been canceled and they'll never perform it again. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so, but they still have to push through and record the album. It's pretty awesome. If your life was a musical, what would be the title song? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I don't know where I came up with that just now. I love I it. I feel like you'd have a good one. <laughs> Grow up. Grow up? Yeah. Okay. That and is like, a people original are like, song? Or was this a... No, you said... You said what it would be the, the main, title. the yeah. title. Okay. It yeah, of my up. life, grow, grow up. Yeah, I feel like I've been really lucky to do a lot of the things and have a lot of the interests that I formed when I was pretty young, mm -hmm. and it served me well. But uh, in my refusing to grow up, I've been able to create a pretty great grown-up life. Yeah, I like that because adulting kind of sucks. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't know what that is really like what's i know it's like it's paying the bills and, the, and adulting and yeah I, I like labels in general make yeah. me mad i bill bill maher just did he he had an issue about adulting too um but i i which i agree with and i also like have an issue with like saying what's immature what's childlike i think i think things that make you happy and don't hurt anybody are pretty much okay so I do want to ask, though, because I think the cool thing about being in the arts and creative and what you do, it's mm -hmm. like it never quite looks like what you thought it would look like. Like your sure. trajectory, can you just like speak to yeah. the curveballs you might get? I mean, For sure. I had a really, I had like almost like a, like a strong vision board version of what my career would be in high school, mm -hmm. which was I would play Anakin Skywalker in the prequels. Yes. I would move to London, I would do theater and musicals there, mm -hmm. become a, a British citizen, <laughs> and then be the next James Bond. And what is the version now that you would like sum it up I did a in? musical. Yeah. <laughs> I did a musical, and most of my career has been about jokes. My, my career is a joke. But you seem very happy. There's I'm a lot of miserable happy. actors I'm, out there. Like, every time I see you, you're always very nice to reporters. Yeah, so. yeah. I No, I, I am so grateful for... I've gotten to do amazing things. I've been on iconic institutional shows like SNL. I've done yeah. Broadway. I got to do Hamilton. Um, I do voiceover work. I'm, I'm on a TV show that I love and with making it with people that I love mm -hmm. called Single Parents. So I have already had more than my fair share. You're awesome. Just Thank roll you. with it and go. I Thank know you. I love Vulture Fest especially because the yeah. fans are so voracious. Like sure. they're, they're like erupting and it's so good. So. It's, it's amazing and you know it's a cliche to say but fans are literally the sort of lifeblood of entertainment and what we do and without them it doesn't exist. So it's, it's really cool to get to connect on a person-to-person on a -person level. Amazing. We'll end it right there. And thank you thank so you. much. Have Thanks the best time ever me. today. I appreciate it. Thank, thank you. you. Right, Good bye -bye. to see you. Thanks.